stream seems to drop out. Okay. Oh, and there's the horned guys and the birds. Maybe I should go back there and try to get to the campfire. Let's see. Oops. Where that is. Save these for the trail. Yes, I'm finally at two. Start starting the second health bar full of uh, Serve health. Dark guy. What does it? Let's focus on the yellow bird. Radar has weakness tearing, so regular arrows. Power cell, re electricity. means I need to shoot its radar off. fire arrows. Oh, there's another one, I guess. Is that the guy? He looked larger. I expected you to be taller. Well, I guess that was only a scrapper, okay. Some fighting going on here. I hope you don't mind that I borrow your money. No space. stuff.
shoot. Never know when I might need these. That's our only stack, then I think I'll keep that, because I need that for arrows, at the least. Oh wait, did I do anything? Resist room now. Still not. I don't want to give all this stuff up. Well, I guess we have uh, wire. Did I really just pick up the wire again that I dropped? Come on. wire again. Okay. That's really... special thing I think that's wire again not as much So yeah, let's see where we're headed. We're still... 
So like up this way is where we want to go. So back across the river is really. And all ammo, no. Okay. Always hit the circle key when I want to. Exit. Oh, that's wire. No. Um. Um. Yeah. This will be amazing if I have to go past these guys. There's birds around there as well. What's this? I guess it's just the shape of the island or something. I thought that was one of the symbols. I was like, what weird machine would look like this? Okay, let's see if we can just race through. <laughs> things. Going by the music, you're still following me, aren't you? Just run past a campfire with a traitor? Oh well. Okay, so good, then let's just keep going past those two doors. Sent. The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. There's someone here. Who is that? Talk to the Banuk, I guess. That's just a Indicator of a friendly guy, so let's run up there. Say the herds move this way. Where is this magical campfire? Still ahead of us, okay. The nuke lands are harsher than these. Hunting here is relaxing. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. When the machine spirits resist, it forces the Banuk to prove our worth. But in the grove, they're docile. 
It feels unnatural. Those are Sean Investments, girl. You don't realize what you're appropriating. A place where the machines walk in peace with mankind. A blessing. Let's see what we want to sell, so at least we get something out of it. Tells me. Silent Hunter heavy.
Okay, let's see what else. If it's for crafting, I want to keep it. So trading with merchants, we don't really want to sell too much of it either. Desert glass, we get a lot, so I think that's not a problem. Crafting ammunition is a definite no sell. of Watcher Hearts. Treasure Lens, Lens Horn Lens. Animal Parts are probably rarer either. Scrapper Hearts. Yeah, we run into those frequently, I think. Stalker Lens. Snap more lens, long leg lens. Broadhead heart. Corruptor lens. So the difference between trading and selling is important. Trading means I need exactly this item. Selling means I can only get metal shards from it. Okay. So let's sell those items. supposed to talk to somewhere ahead I guess That's also something where you go like, okay, how are you gonna make your game? Is it gonna have a concept of the theft? And the snowfall. Or um, are you gonna have a? Uh, is this just the way you dispense stuff by having your character just, you know, brazenly steal stuff? Then also, if you, if you know that, you know, like, the game just gives you items, then of course it's all balanced towards you taking the items you find on the way. So it's not actually theft. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. What is how the Banuk... What are we doing here? Every idle moment is another mile between us and the herd. So how did they get up and down the mountain? Did they just climb? Oh, 
Oh, that line, okay. That's how they got down. The question is, how do I get up? Anyway, I guess back there is... The Nor have learned much from the machines. May the machine spirits grant you favor. Spirits have presented their machines to us as gifts, but only in the grove. In the grove, in the grove machines are unburdened by anger. This is kind of weird. I like the, the mood this has. Machine spirits are angered in all places but this one grove. It's a riddle. The Nor are led by their women, right? Is this one some sort of leader? What are we doing here? Every idle moment is another mile between us and the herd. Somewhere here. These lands are filled with noise. But it is just noise. No sounds. May there be songs in your name. Speak to the Nora, uh, to the. It looks like. In Vanur, I already sing songs about the hunts I've completed. I don't like spending so long away from the hunt. It makes my muscles twitch. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to find someone here. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts. My soul will echo for a hundred more. Wish you wear rack up. No, but it just was a good one. Struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. The spoils of the hunt have been a little light lately. We should find a few machines. Earn the spirit's favor. Uh, I found someone. I'd like to see oh. her shoot. The Nora are famous. Well, it's just the safe oh. button. Oh. Long health and hard ice. No. <laughs> Keep seeing. Oh yeah, a triangle came up. I can talk to this person, and then it's. Long health and hard ice. Oh, hard ice. I was thinking like hard eyes? What's the story behind that wish? Ah, here's someone with a name to talk to. You're trying to understand the machines here too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Hmm. Okay. Still more people to talk to, I guess. After our herd. 
We'll claim first blood, but it'll require cunning. Come on, I want to say hi. Yeah. The last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow. None will be going hungry. Keep your skills sharp. To see these machines up close like this, it's grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. A challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. Okay, so it's the location. It's not just that here is a group of animals that are peaceful. Hardwell. But it's actually. I am glad to see you well. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts. And my song will echo for a hundred more. Uh, let's see if we can find everyone to talk to then. I mean, this game is pretty enough that I don't have a problem running well around. For the hunt, I hope. You already. They say even the ice in the world lingers with new life. The spirits call. Or you? Don't assume the hunt will be easier just because the land is warmer. It demands full preparation. Skill melts like ice. We should get back out and track the herd if we want to maintain our reputations. Give a damn about my bad reputation. Mm -mm -mm. I need more people to say hi to. Come on. Talk to you. Already sing songs about the hunt that completed. I don't think I can talk to the trader, I can just trade. Anyone can commune with the machine spirits as the shamans do. The spoils of the hunt have been a little light lately. We should find a few machines earn the spirits' favor. So, Luke, we already talked to you. So, look, we talked to you. You're the shaman. I am the best hunter of my Wirak, and none shall wrest that honor from me. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts, and my song will echo for a hundred more. What are we doing? What are we doing? Every idle moment is another mile between us and the herd. Skill melts like ice. We can get back out and track the herd if we want to move one another. The spoils of the hunt have been a little light lately. We should find a few machines, earn the spirit's favor. These lands are filled with noise, but it is just noise. No sounds. 
Yes, in this grove, I ran my hand along the steel flank of a killer machine. Keep your scales sharp. Threatened. It's true. The nuke lands are harsher than these. Hunting here is relaxing. I guess let's go back up the mountain and see if we can talk to you now. I am the best hunter of my Werak, and none shall wrest that honor from me. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Don't assume the hunt will be easier just because the land is warmer. So what do I do here? It says talk to the Banuk. I've talked to many Banuk. Most won't talk back to me. I can loot some more. He won't speak to me. Oh well, not speak with me. Oh, T Cook is over there. Let's see if I can talk to him after. Long health and hard eyes. Ah. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We are not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? Tikuk, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not a Banuk that's allowing us to approach unchallenged. 
There's something about the this place. Miraculous place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. Hunt well. to the glaciers. At this grove, anyone can commune with the machine spirits as the shamans do. Focus to turn something up. was a training dummy and I could destroy it for an achievement. Sorry. I wish you a bountiful hunt. May there be songs in your name. There's a signal. Ah. There, a signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it. This is how the beneath must have gotten up and down the mountain. What do you mean by up? Is subtle because it's not yellow. They're blind to the blue light. Let's see. That doesn't sound too friendly. They still mark the edges. Hard to believe the Banuk live further north. They still keep those markings. Usually it's like yellow color somewhere, which is a little bit uh, strong, but you know, like, it, do you want games to. Um, no. Did I lose health? No. Oh. 
guess I can climb up here. Oops. I can almost see back to the sacred land. Don't miss it. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Selfie time. Uh, photo mode? And uh, what is it? There. That looks nice, doesn't it? That should be enough. Okay. Oh, Robo Bird. The blood hawks are just waiting. A good sign, I guess. They haven't attacked me yet. Someone's been up here recently. Was that... voices? Okay. Oh, hi Alice! Stop trying to destroy their religious figurines. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this world, by the way. Um, sorry that I didn't reply earlier. Jumping shard person! You can't just leave us here! Huh. Um. Yeah, it's. I, I, I love the world, I love the characters that you meet. I mean, some of them are kind of. You can guess where they'll be going, um. But, um. I'm not quite sure where they, um. Sandy. world's going white. Oh, these birds are loud. Um, yeah, I just can't, um, uh, yeah, they're just fun, uh, little, uh, uh, like, fun characters. With some you can tell where they're going, you know, like, whether they'll betray you or something, but, um, uh, it's still good. Yeah, that's true, yeah, it's, it's an AAA tile. Um, so they're kind of... Not quite as subtle as others might be, but I like like the gameplay is really nice, and you can turn up and down the difficulty in the middle of gameplay even, um, which is good for people like me who you know like have n not that much patience for for fighting with a lot of difficulty. Um, you know, I I want to explore the story and and discover the world and things like that. So um, it's really awesome. And yeah, and I'm intrigued by the story, um, so definitely following along here. And the combat is, you know, okay, I'm on on easy mode, which is like the the second one. Only story is uh, is easier. Um, and um, you know, the combat it feels like a little bit of a challenge. So it's not just oh, uh, I'm coming across a few enemies. Let's hit X 15 times and then, you know continue going um, it, it's not an annoyance it's a bit of a challenge but it's uh, not as much of a Get challenge if I don't you. want it <laughs> I guess shards can buy a conscience <laughs> never mind that Nora girl you have to stop the others up ahead we snuck up uncovered some kind of ancient device plain as an anvil that's what affects the machines the other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. 
but we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. <laughs> well, that's a fair appraisal. <laughs> oh, some more loot. Let me just loot these things here. Oh, shock trap, but I already am full. Well, I guess I'm going there. Let's see. Oh, just ahead. Okay. What do you let the rope slip for, you bunch of chuff skulls? The slack was on your end. I think it's okay. Looks like it's okay, doesn't it? It's only split in half. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You're getting you yourself it, killed. You finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. That's charming. They've made a mess of this. Processor. It malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. Oh. Oh, so it used to be like broadcasting all over the world, and now it's only. The sink is a bit off, really? Um, I guess let me go check. Because I thought, like, which part, like, the game audio or the, the, uh, my speech or something. I mean, it's, I, I don't have low latency on right now because I don't trust my internet connection enough. So it should be, well, let's see. Jump. 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 Let's hear if that works. Yeah, okay, so I'm in sync with the audio, so if something is wrong, then it's the game audio. Which is kind of... Well, game audio seems nice as well. I didn't even notice if the lip sync was off, but yeah, that could be. Um, didn't pay t too much attention to that. I I have a bit of a habit of uh, um, of reading subtitles instead of uh, like while listening. So, oh, uh, well, that's not good. The birds are gone. Do I see anything? Oh yeah, they're fighting. Let's make this quick. This animation is almost Ooh, too melodramatic. Started attacking. The hunt is back. Oh, oh wait, it's the other the way around. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Yes. Do what you must. I don't feel it. Uh, I, I guess what would could be is if it says... Well, either they kind of accidentally fixed it. Oh, God. What if now the you'll hear my song, big one? Machine. A sharp song. Yeah, it, it could be that either they overrode the whole thing, 
I should probably pay attention a little bit to the battle. Let's see if we can... The hunt is in a few back. traps. Oh, that's mine. Sorry. Attack! I'll pick that one up again. Yes. But so either and me. I don't fear it. Either the machines um, were peaceful here because the machine that sh should have made them aggressive. Um, didn't. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Well, I've kind of equipped the wrong weapon. But I guess that worked. <laughs> He's not going to be happy about this. Um. Wish I'd brought something to eat or drink. That's it for you. Okay, I think we got them. They didn't make it too challenging at this difficulty. Well, anyway, so either... I'm thinking that either the machine was supposed to make them angry and didn't, or, um... Y you know, and by dropping it, they... Win. Keep looking till you do or you're dead. They, they made it reactivate, or the other option would be that um, it was kind of uh, supposed to keep like a, a larger area peaceful and slowly got worse and worse and nobody came to fix it, so um, when they dropped it, it just fell, uh, 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 stopped working completely. Okay. Nora. Did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs. But more for mourning and gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Oh, okay, so the mission is over now. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could at least, you know, learn how this machine worked or something. Oh well. And I'm glad that this guy didn't wake up. How many more hours I guess it had take? broken down in the cold or something. Okay. Then uh, let's not make it too boring and quick travel back. Where are we supposed to go? Come on. Yeah, I don't want to walk all that. Although, I mean, it's it's interesting scenery, so occasionally walking from one edge to the other isn't bad, but, you know, you get lazy. Especially once you've unlocked the quick travel thing. Oh, and when we're in the city... Okay, have a nice breakfast. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a huge game, and I don't even have the expansion yet.
but I like like uh, how you discover more and more about the world, and it doesn't feel, you know, in other games it often feels like uh, they have this story, it's pretty straightforward, and they're just doling it out in pieces so you don't find out fast enough, you know, to to kind of get you through. And here it feels more like, yeah, of course, all of this information was lost. Like, like it really works, and it it feels. I guess it's the way the story is built, because the, the, you know, in this world, you know, so, you know, so much has been lost, and they're all kind of superstitious, and you, you are a modern person, and so have certain opinions, and they work with that. Um, they don't have like the stupid outlanders that know nothing, and the smart outlanders that know everything. But rather, you know, every everyone has like part of the puzzle, and the player character is kind of the only one who slowly puts it together. Um, you know, like like if you hear like the Osarama, totally wrong is what the Banuk said. Um, but the Osaram um, have the right idea. Yes, these machines really are just machines that can be built, that can be fixed, um, that are manufactured. They're not gods like the Banuk or the Nora, I think. Ooh, music. Where are the musicians? Are there somewhere? Seems like they're somewhere on the right. Um, yeah, so, so like everyone like has part of the puzzle. Like, yeah, they... Like the, the blue light, yes. Um... Where are the musicians? Come on. I want to stand in front of the musicians and be a groupie. It's getting louder here. Ah, over there. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah, so... So that's really awesome about this game because it works in its favor of doling out story to you. You know, they, they have a really good... Um way of making you feel like, of course I don't find out more, because where would I search? Um, you know, because it's basically an entire world. And I like little bits like this, you know, that they actually have musicians sitting there and just um, uh, making songs and people listening to them in various spots. And it's not, you know, not too prominent. It's not like, look here, we licensed music from, uh, I don't know, uh, Cindy Lauper and re-recorded it in a, uh, uh, in a uh, 50s style or something, like, like other games do. But rather, it's just like a little detail in the world. So let's see. Someone left money on the streets. Thank you. I don't think I've walked here before. It's also nice architecture. A bit sad if you know that. I think this is the city that was all built by slaves essentially, so. This is what peace is like. It makes it a little sad. Oh yeah, I think here I've been before. Is that a flamethrower? Or a flame... What do you call it? Flame spitter? She was incredible. Stopped her ball without breaking the sweat. Had no idea the Nora was fierce. Come on, show us some artistry. Don't they have places to be? For a fair price. You're the outlander that stopped the assassin. Son, bless you. Okay, I guess not. Loud. Oh no, now. A mile away. Yeah. Cool. That's also a nice detail, you know, that, yeah, in a city you would have had that. Ah. Uh, that's the nice thing. You, you have, like, these areas where you can just 
walk around and explore and things like that. And they're big, you know, it's not always running around and fighting everywhere. Or is that one of the... You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben-Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. Okay, I don't think I've seen Tell those yet. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban-Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ban-Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. You ready? Let's trade then. Do I have any? No, I don't think so. Banuk artifacts. No, I don't have any yet. Okay. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. You there, Outlander? Do you have relics to trade? Buy what you need, leave the rest. Won't find better wares. Ah, uh, wrong button. What are those? Item holds no relics up to the most eclectic of merchants, a container made from ancient material. Okay. Don't pass up these goods. Excuse so me, I guess this is sort of for currency artifacts. conversion. Okay. Won't cost you a shard You'll just like to look. what I have for sale, I promise. No more yield of it. But yeah, um So it's nice that that like no one really has the whole story and everyone has a bit of it. And you're practically the only one who can figure it out now. Even if you weren't just a human. Preferably with no friends or family. Outlander, are you looking for Wait. I know your face. <laughs> you came back. <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines, it's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Card just silks? Ugh. Hoisted on my own purse strings. Oh well, we got something from him. And we learned something. That's nice. Can I interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? Yeah. Can't even imagine like how like with the expansion um you know, like how large it will get. I mean there's this a huge map and you see like all the the spots there. And, you know, this is a huge, huge map.
guess we'll go to the Grave Horde next. Um, but first, one thing I totally forgot, which I should probably do, is spend a few skill points. Because I have seven. Let's see, strike from below, leader strike. What is this? Hunter reflexes, time slows down. And on the huh? Strength, what else can I do? Move faster while wielding a heavy weapon. Fast reload. an additional arrow. Oh, so we get more arrows. Increased attack chance and not of armor. Oh no, wait, I know I wanted yeah, these because then I don't need as many resources anymore. Okay, so I'm definitely a forager here. I wonder, like, how how the strategies here differ, like, when, when going through skill trees like that. I guess, like, I don't know, my strategy, which I think is probably in, at its core, probably the same for everyone, but, like, the details differ, is, um, like, the things that annoy me most, I try to get rid of those. So, for example, I wanted faster travel, so... I pretty quickly tried to get to call mount plus so I can I don't have to manually override mounts anymore I can just call one and it'll send me a new overridden one even if I didn't override one um, and I wanted tinker because I hate um, you know like having to destroy items or something to equip new ones in retrospect I didn't really need that as much because you get so many modifications and they change so frequently, so on a on a new playthrough I would probably not go for that ability as well. But I would go for disarm traps still, because that's, you know, you just can pick up stuff again and you don't have to collect as many resources. And that's also like, the, the resource collecting is, is uh, uh, like, it's part of the game. I understand why it's in there. I appreciate it, like with survival games as well. Like in, in Conan, it wouldn't feel right if you just had resources and, and were able to craft or whatever. It's... it's uh, Mechanically, I totally understand it. That doesn't mean uh, that it's fun for me. So of course I try to get any upgrades that, that take the non-fun stuff out or at least reduce it. Let's see, we have one more skill point, so if one of those first ones I damage attack on downed enemies as soon as time slows while aiming during a jump or a slide don't really see myself jumping that much and using that although I guess I kind of want the rope balancing, but I don't know, I haven't really felt like I needed it so far. So I guess I'll just leave it at that, and the next time I get a point or two, I'll have the extra one, and maybe then I'll be at three or something. Okay. But yeah, it's really fun to... Um, think about like like I went for like certain ability like I I try to go for stealth as you can see and I try to get rid of the uh, most of the foraging mechanic um so that's actually a good separation of skills that they did that they took like the the different game mechanics and went like okay the things that you want to do um you know, but I wonder, like, some people will probably just, you know, do the usual uh, maximum damage. Just because then, you know, you just slice through everything. And as you see, like, I haven't done 
like I only did the, the slow down time thing because I know that I'm bad at aiming. Um, and I'm not really, you know, Twitch games aren't really my thing, as in games that need fast reaction times. Um, so it's, um, I, I haven't leveled up much here because I also, like, I didn't feel, oh, I'm doing too little damage, really. It was more, well, I needed the strategies, and so that was fun. And I guess if I do too much damage, then also, kind of like, why would I need to to, uh, to employ strategies anymore? And in general, I found that most of the, the fighting games that I play, I prefer cases where you can stealth. Um, so, like, Dishonored is a really interesting game to me just because... Uh, of the stealth mechanics. Same here. Although here I have to say I I often end up in situations where I try to stealth and then get spotted anyway and it doesn't feel like there was another option except maybe you know like like I try to to lure people away and th or, or, or enemies in general and it just doesn't um, doesn't really work or or someone behind a wall sees them anyway and I haven't quite understood yet when enemies see each other and when they don't or whatever or when they hear what I'm doing so that's a bit weird um, oh I should probably equip something in my new outfit Oh, and that's in crafting. Let's see what we have. Twenty seven resist freeze, sixteen resist corruption. Uh, now I can actually use the Clear modification slot. Come on. This is finicky. Like this, you have to be really good with the. You do this with the analog stick, and so if your angle is just slightly off, it doesn't work because it just says, oh, it's sideways. And given, you know, like I, I turn the controller in my hand or something, and so the angle I have on the, on the analog stick is not always the one I think I have. Okay, so let's see what's the best stuff we can equip in that armor now. Eight percent resist ranged, eleven resist, resist melee, seventeen resist fire, twenty-seven. Add stealth and I think resist fire is really the best I have, I guess. Could probably go and buy some more modifications. Although, you know, like I have lots of modifications, but it seems like. Oh, they're for weapons, I guess. So let's see if we have any weapons that we can improve while we're at it. Probably not the most exciting uh, thing for me to do right now, I'm sorry. 53% handling. 29 shock. And this is 24 shock. Okay. So we do 29 shock. At least 15 damage, 36 handling, 14 
damage. More shock. 53 handling. Bonuses thirty nine forty two. I think those are okay. The freeze really seemed to work the last time. The rope caster. I've really used the rope caster, but I think I'll just put whatever the highest thing that will go in there. I guess if the rope caster does more tear... Twenty four percent shock. This is twenty nine, so I'm on the maximum that this one will do. Okay, if I can't we're done. something, maybe my focus can. You'll sell me their services. No qu Okay, uh, let's see what quest we want to do, actually. Yeah, <laughs> me stupid pushy wrongy buttony. Grave horde. Anything closer? Honor the fallen. Let's do the detective mission. Because it's right here in the city. And I'll be right here waiting for you. You wouldn't believe what people are charging for a good bolt of cloth these days. A good what? Bolt of flop? Oh wait, investigate the crime scene, and the other one is talk to the steward. Perhaps my focus can help me. I want to talk. to to the steward. Oh, and he's somewhere. The sound of a hammer on steel. Too damn quiet out here. Uh, here. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Yeah, the optional things are, uh, you have to do them before you do the others, otherwise they go away. Which I guess is obvious, kind of, but here. for some of the objectives I was like, well, I should be able to do that any time after the mission, and it didn't. Like, we, we captured one guy and brought him back, and then you could kind of choose to, you know, end the mission and get your rewards, but there were also, like, a few people you could talk to. And one was kind of off to the side, and, and so I went, okay, let's do all those that are closer, and then go to him. But that uh, was then no longer an option. So that was a little sad. So where did my... wherever I'm supposed to go... Objective point. Sun. Words to live by. Okay, so. Osram influence at the palace. I bet those traitorous Osram. Any news about my stolen sword? Not yet. 
I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Okay, so where do I examine the crime scene? I guess not here. Oh, will just conveniently lose Durval and Oh, here. Okay. Of blood leading away. We don't even have to go in, I guess. What? I guess they saved themselves building a map by just saying, "Okay, knock in this window." I, I love like these little tricks that you can do in a game like this or in MMOs or so you know like quest based games where you just go and create new stories in existing maps you know like you can have just like if it's a huge team like in, in most of those games they will just you know have certain people go okay you you get like I don't know one or two assets that we can make you smaller ones and um, do a story uh, but place it in the existing world and use you know like the existing enemies or characters or something and then they'll just go okay and maybe you know like you have often you have a character builder so they will you know use existing assets and and build a character that will give you a quest and then maybe get a few voice recordings for it but um, you know, it's it's still cool to have these little missions that that kind of give you better view of the world. The thief got cut pretty bad. Trailing's here. I bet those traitorous Someone must have seen the thief. Lose Derval and transport to Mainspring. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Look at the market. Slipped on some fruit, and children laughed at me. My boss said he lost another caravan to machines. The map points are a little. This is for me. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. That is an artisan, not someone bending over the railing because he's hurt. The white stuff kind of looked like, oh, that could have been the linen. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Conveniently, there's a person standing there. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. A merchant stall. No. Or the one where the. Let's see. Where is? Uh, we're, we're going back. So I guess it's it's the linen merchant. Okay, so she's probably not as innocent as she thought. more hours and I can get a drink or three. It's safe to sit here, but get into the outlet. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. 
You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it! Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Good that they added the explanation of, like, it wouldn't matter, I'd find you. Yeah, I guess with the focus. Because, I mean, you know, like in other games, or, or even here occasionally, you know, you, you just leave someone standing there and go like, yeah, you might be a criminal, but it's okay. Well, actually, here, I don't think it happened. I don't think it actually happened in this game, to be honest. Don't want to claim something that uh, isn't true. This is a gorgeous city. There's money lying on the streets. Um. So, um. How do I get there? I guess I go around the right somewhere. are yellow. Oh. Why is everything closed and why does it think? To me for help. My duty is to I've always wondered, are all your kind hunters and fighters or just a few? How would I know? Just in case I do something stupid trying to find a way over. Oh, it's a lift. Ah, I'm stupid. like what the mechanism is supposed to be behind those like if they took machine parts and hooked it up 
or if they um, they said the water mill so maybe it's just a, a water wheel or something that is used to stop the assassin son bless you thank you oh I forgot to say hello you wouldn't be so eager to speak with me if you knew me Aww. I can't do any Assassin's Creed style hiding in the hay, in the bales of hay, or haystack, or whatever they call it. An ale, please. Hello? Mead? Anything? Aww. The Royal Maze Lands. We... That's, uh... Well, first, I guess we is a very German thing to say. <laughs> I guess whoa would be the English thing, or look at that. Um, yes, yeah, so apparently that's where this this whole culture kind of came from. They um, can I use the boat? Oh, no booty. Okay, um... Yeah, so they, they found this valley and this tower where they could defend themselves. Where's the tower? Come on. That one. I think it's that one. Um... And then, uh, around it, uh... started planting a lot of food so people wouldn't starve and, uh... That's why they're so successful. And spoiled rich brats. Have you ever noticed how brats is short in English for bratwurst as well? So, uh... Do they eat their children? Oh, I think there's a lot of plants here. So let's refill our medicine plant stock. Okay, but that's good to know. So that means if I'm ever short for medicine pouch plants. Stocking up. Go here for a refill. That doesn't seem to be as much as I hoped. Well, that seems to be other kinds, but oh, here's a few more. It's always so confusing because these, uh, if you can't pick something up, um, because you you already have enough of that kind of item, then the the loot indicator at the top turns red, and that almost looks like the red healing plants. So I'm always going like, oh, there's a stick with something red. That must be a healing plant. No, it's just a stupid rock. I'll tuck that away. Because rocks are just distractions in this game. Not like for the player, but like for enemies. 
Loot, 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 da, do da. Loot, 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 do da, do da, day. Hey, do da, day, and yippee, yippee, yay. Loot, 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 hey, do da, day. Here we are, born to be kings. No, not really. Yelled so loud, I'm still deaf in one ear. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. <laughs> so am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them. Of wealth and contentment. While people beneath him suffer. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. <laughs> but only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there, but be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. They have the standard, like, city guard dialogues that's a bit, uh... <laughs> oh well. I guess they're the hired help. Okay, so where are we supposed to go? Oh, you're sending us on quite a walk. Goodness gracious me. Go to the fork in the road. Well, I guess that's not a campfire. Or at least one we haven't unlocked yet. One of these days when I grow up, I want to become a de game developer. But uh, right now I'm just tinkering. Like, I'm a, I work as a programmer, so there's that. But, uh, um, yeah, I uh, haven't really made any any games yet. Like I've, like, I've made little things for myself to just figure out how would I do this, or how does this mechanic work, or whatever. Um, but not yet more. And so, uh, I, I always look at games I play kind of from that point of view, like, how does this work? How do they make things like this? It's really, I don't know, it, it intrigues me. Um, you know. 
I mean, if you, if you consider, like, like, look at this campfire. And, like, if we... This is actually a really good one, but with fire in general, it's... Basically, usually it's a cardboard stand-up. Um... I don't know, it's, it's, it depends on, like, this game is expensive enough in production that it might actually be using a particle engine, but often for fire what they do is just, since it, you know, like, it moves and flickers so quickly, so you don't really see the difference between fire that is... Oh no, but, but there, this, you can see, like, at the left edge here, um, of the flame, you can see, like, the flame is cut off. So that means it's really just a cardboard stand-up that has a picture of fire on it that stands between and sometimes in front of, you know, like, um, the... Uh, or, like, is stuck, basically stuck through the logs. And so they, they just, like, project the fire onto this wall. Which is, like, how most games work, you know, you just have a... have little pieces of... I'll call them cardboard. They're polygons, essentially, so just, like, flat things um on which you paint stuff and that was kind of the the moment like like doom and other games basically worked like that in in doom you had the walls which were just rectangles that were turned in 3d space to um and then the enemies were actually just cardboard stand-ups so they were like flat polygons that no matter how you looked at them they were always turned towards the player and then they painted one of like eight or so pre-drawn 2D animations of a character on them. And uh, that's basically how this campfire works as well. Like it's always turned towards us. And you see like if, if you look at the flames there, there's like a cycle to them. Um, like there's always this one thing that sticks out to that flame on the left. And like if you turn you you will still see that I think I mean with fire they could actually like today computers are fast enough that they're actually doing particle engines and um it may be that the smoke is actually particles so that means like every maybe not every individual point but um Although I don't know, for this fire, I think that might also just be a a large plate with a smoke picture on it. That, that you know, like isn't like a GIF animation or something just running on a cardboard startup, stand up essentially. And, you know, like they can be transparent, so it's like painting something on glass. They actually did that in movies as well. Um, but, I mean, like, like games are in general that's what they're built of but there are today cases where these particle engines appear where they essentially like have the graphics card calculate the movement of each like small individual dot or something um, they do that especially like for flame effects like if you have a, a weapon with a flame or so that's usually a particle effect so my guess is this thing here let's look at it Now that might actually also just be something they like a flat cardboard thing they stuck on front of us uh, of the arrow. But like sometimes, like if it, yeah, this stays static. So this is not a particle engine. Like the cool thing about a particle engine is that you can actually see. Um, Come to Gawker or Exile. You know, see the Let's particles. Finally retake Meridian. Oh, they're Shadow Karja. But they're not attacking me? Interesting. Um. Anyway, so, um. Yeah, so with particles, the advantage is that, um, you know, they're actual objects in 3D space. So, like, if you have, like, what you would probably, for example, use it for would be 
um, you know, like the breath coming out of a character's mouth, like if it's not just a static character, but if it's actually someone running, then the the smoke has to trail behind you. And that's usually where they use particles. Or uh, they might use it when your character is on fire or so. Of course, sometimes they, you know, like, because it is more costly, you know, like, just to, to render an animation on a cardboard stand-up is relatively inexpensive to render on today's computers. But um, having particles, of course, means every particle needs to be calculated by the computer as it moves. And so... Um, it may happen on the graphics card, which has uh, a lot more room, but um, nonetheless it needs to be calculated and rendered, and that CPU or GPU time could be used for something else. So what they will sometimes do is mix these approaches, like have like the main picture be a static one, like the fire on your character will just be more card up stand-ups animation, animating, and... Um, then they'll add a few longer flames that are particles in strategic spots, you know. And then while you run, you'll see like, okay, the smaller flames are just on me, that's okay. I might just at this distance not see how they're lying back or something. Or maybe they even, you know, like get the animations get tilted slightly um, backwards when you're walking forwards and things like that. So it looks like they're subject to physics, but actually then there will only be a few larger flames that are actual particles. And particles also doesn't mean that it's like every pixel that is calculated as a particle. It could just mean that they have like, you know, one point or like ten different points that are particles and flow away from you, for instance, and then uh, those individual points are actually a picture of like uh, you know, like ten larger points, and so it's it's since if it's like a big billowing column of smoke that is trailing behind you, then you know you only need the circumference to follow everything, but individually they can still be simple pictures and things, and so you, that's one of the compromises you can make to get performance out of a game by combining these approaches, and it's the same in in movie making actually which is why that also interests me so much because there's so many tricks in there that maybe not one to one but like in principle can be applied to computer games as well like um you know building a model and a, a cgi model and then alternating different shots between them so that the shots where realistic lighting and interacting with the with the characters is concerned you actually use the model and then in other shots where it's you know where you're blowing up stuff or something or it's it's a quick shot of something moving freely in the air or something which you can't do with a model because the model always has like a stick or something it is on that has to be maybe then edited out or something um and so um for those cases you suddenly this must be where nasan was supposed to check in And so, um, yeah, where was I? When you, um, th then you, you, you combine these effects and use their strengths so that when people look at it, they kind of can't really decide in their head, is this CGI? No, he, the t touching it looked real, so, and it shook a little bit when he touched it, which they forget with CGI occasionally, you know, and so it, must be a model but then well it's flying so freely maybe that's cgi and if you can you know if the shots are short enough and uh, intermixed enough then that gives the perfect illusion because that's what you can do in a movie and you can also in some ways do that in a game by combining several approaches okay let's do the habitual quick save here Examine the it camp. Like there was a scuffle here, but no body. Did it say examine the scraps of cloth? Okay. That's something that I find not as good in this game. Um, 
they give you this focus, like it's, you know, like Batman's detective vision uh, you've had in other games as well. Um, and uh, so you can examine things with that. But then, like, while you have that on, you have to go to an object and actually interact with it. And while you're in focus mode, you can't actually interact with items. You know, you see the prompt doesn't even come up. And that seems kind of counterintuitive to me. Like, I've had moments where it says, yeah, I'm examining it, and then, no, 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 uh, you're supposed to examine them, you know, like, with your hands or something, and that's a different button. And I think they should have just, either in such cases where the interaction is examine, just show the interaction while in focus anyway. And, you know, they can automatically, like, drop you out, but just so you don't get stuck as easily. And... On the other hand, why not just, you know, show that information when you're using your focus? Because that's kind of the focus is something you turn on explicitly, and when you're close enough, it could just give you the extra information. On off. There should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. Otherwise, I find this pro focus nice, especially that they're doing this, that you can highlight tracks. Which means um, you don't have to like like in in the Batman Arkham games, which have this cool detective vision. I always found it a bit annoying that you know like you spent most of your time in detective vision, and that means you didn't get to see like the beautiful colors and and light effects and things they they chose you because it's like more. Uh, I mean here it's it's closer to 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 real. Um, you're just you're slower while it's on. But like being able to mark stuff and then see it out of that mode as a as a hint, I I like that really. Like these trails, I mean these trails kind of look. It's a bit, you know, it takes you a bit out of the realism. But from a mechanic point of view, it's uh, it's actually really useful. Um, so you know, like I wish they had found a better approach, but I'm glad that they at least found this one. Uh, come on. Okay. The golden rule of this game. Kill all animals you come by because their materials will be used for something. Uh, uh, the striders are over there. Okay. But it's such an amazing game. Okay, these are yellow, so these are enemies. With friends like these, who needs enemies? The Shadow Carja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Okay, so I would like to stealth my way into this. I'm not sure if I am good enough for that. Okay, this guy. No, I want the other one. No. Yep, you. And you. guy down here and a few unmarked people over there. this horse here. You're cramping my style. You might give me a way. Okay. So I think we've marked everyone at least so we know when they're coming for us. So now we have to find a way in. 
see nothing. You can't prove it. It's interested that oh machine scavenger so I'm getting loot boxes with extra content now because of my ability. Okay that's a little like rough immersion wise. <laughs> But I don't know, maybe that's a, a something they did so I wouldn't run out of inventory space as quickly. Sneak, sneak. Can I show you a path? That's also, like, I find it... It's totally realistic that the focus would be able to anticipate the machines, you know, because they run on a program. But I don't find it, you know, it's not realistic that it would be able to, to, well, or, or at least, you know, it's a stretch that it would be able to predict humans that way. This is probably where my stealth will totally go to heck when I try to take out this guy. The guys up there are watching. They let us starve in sunfall while they feast in Meridian. Someone over here doesn't look Can't kill me. God! 
Face the sun. Don't turn your back on the enemy. I'm done. <laughs> Am I done? The bloody route. about to say really going through a health pool here have I killed everyone looks like it Thank you for all coming to my show and letting me uh, relieve you of your lives and your coin purses. I'm gonna make sure these shards will come to uh, go to uh, the computerized Nora in need foundation abbreviation a l o y another day passing up a bunch of health on this like not you know like I didn't luckily die from it but like my whole medicine pouch here it's like half empty oh no it's plus so I, I used about half of my health I guess um, one and a half bars okay but still I mean I lost an entire health bar's worth of uh, herbs. Well, I guess before it's dark, let's better get inside. Let's look where Nazan went. Did Nasan? He needs help. Let's try this again. Found him! Over here! Oh. Oops. I didn't expect there to be more of you. I thought I've gotten you all. Thing I saved before I made this mistake, so I can now go the sneaky way. That's the unfair advantage that you have as being a person that plays this game. Let's not forget to drink. Hello, stay hydrated, bot. Thank you, stay hydrated, bot. Right. He needs help. Let's try this again. Oh, they respawn me in a since you're obviously different location. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. 
My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I Let's make this quick. His bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Mm, he's got spirit. It's a girl! Something broke! Bad! Do your job, you chuffs! Oops. Get the guy with the big gun, quick! Oh no. I thought I had him. Okay, I'll have to do this a lot stealthier, I guess. <laughs> so now you see why I play on easy, because I'm this bad on easy. They've gotten us on, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. Okay, let's I'll take some time and feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic with your mother. <laughs> I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may. Okay, so I guess I have to anywhere. get the That's all right. I don't have like first. Bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? He's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. This is almost like Arkham. By my car job, coming back from this one. Okay. I guess strategy and relying on the fact that uh, my fire won't light up uh, friendlies works better. Yeah, this is useful. Health potion. Just money. Oh, more health potions. That's nice. So we're refilled now. Always find it a little annoying having to separately move the camera on console. It's not as easy as turning your head in real life, and PC games usually approximate that. Kinji, you've sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way! Give me a second. Oh, we actually had a bunch of traps and... Wait, wait. There's loot to be had. Okay. Some more loot. Probably Aloy's Superman moment. I think that was in every trailer. Can't be too prepared.
Kindiv told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? <sighs> but after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. Let's see if we can find some more medicinal plants here. And then we'll return to turn in that mission. And I think then it's dinner time for me. Ah, uh, no medicine plants here. Well, I guess I got two of three bars. That should be okay. Oh, it's full. Made them soon enough. Is that supposed to be a turkey? That beep beep sound? Wabbits? Be very quiet, I am hunting wabbits. I don't really need Ridgewood. Wanted the one next to it. So nice to see the medicine pouch full up again, fill up. Meridian then Fancy City ah, this button So now if I only had something to talk about during this load stream that would be really professional of me. But I guess that shows you how, s how rarely I stream, because I can't think of a darn thing now. Except maybe, um... Yeah. Or anything I want to talk about that is story-wise that, I don't know, I don't want to spoil anything for people who didn't get spoiled like me on that one aspect, and I think that's about it. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun stuff in this game. I also like the the mechanism that they give you these hints. I mean, they're not, you know, like, huge, but it's, uh, I don't know. I think the, the mechanics are simple enough that, you know, even non-combat friends like me feel like they can work them out. Maybe not in the detail that you would if you played at higher difficulty, because then you really need to plan more and buy more stuff from vendors and things like that. save just because I'm kind of paranoid about that then let's figure out how to turn in our mission oh, I guess we should be okay, this way I can do that Feathers. 
cobbled together weapons. You know, as this game is really well made, and you know, like I'm, I'm not criticizing anything, but of course you run into little details where you go, um, oh, I, sh I they should have, um, you know, like they should have thought of that or whatever, and maybe they did and just thought, oh, it's not worth it for the situation. Like I had a situation where I was riding my mount into a city, and it said at the gates of the city, no, your mount can't go in there, and I think, okay, yeah. You know, story-wise, it makes sense, you know, if you can ride machines, that's actually something rather special, and they let me ride in spots where I would expect them to at least, you know, have reactions from the passers-by, going like, why does she have a peaceful machine? Um, but um, then I went out the other side of that city and called my mount, and it came through the city towards me. And that was a little bit of, you know, they should have at least made it, you know, like, go around or, you know, just teleported it to to somewhere out of view and have it come from there as if it had, you know, like, run off in some direction and uh, then came from another one. Which, you know, teleporting would actually have been easier, you know, just put it behind me and play the galloping sounds. And like when I turn around, maybe have it, you know, skid to a stop or something. Like like those are the tricks they usually do. Like if you look there, there's a really great uh, talk about uh, Elizabeth from uh, Bioshock Infinite, where they show, tell all the tricks that they do to make her seem more alive. And some of the things are, oops, I put my. Sorry, I put my controller down for a second and accidentally pushed the the shoulder button. Um, one moment. To move the headphones a little bit. Well, anyway. Um, so and and they they demo there like how you. Um, uh, they they demo um, um, like what they do and one of the things they do is they have her walking around behind you and like they pick the closest spot near you where she could you know like they mark up spots in scenery for her to interact with like if there's a flower bed they uh, like m mark up that spot and say okay here you can play an animation of picking a flower and putting it behind your ear and things like that and uh or if there's a corpse somewhere we can actually you know like have her like l look thoughtfully at that corpse for a moment or something so they have like marked up different locations with like this is interesting to you or this is sad or whatever and then when you run around um they have her walk with you but if you turn away from her they just like despawn her and spawn her in the next interesting location out of your field of view. And then, if you then turn back to see where she is, at that point she will start the animation. Or rather, they will, like, have her, you know, like, show in, like, a... Like, you know, like, 10% into the animation or something, but, like, the... So, so it looks like you just turned around and happened to just see her as she uh, picked up the flower or something. While she was like standing there, like slightly bent over, waiting for you to turn around so you, she could pick the flower so you would actually see it. And if you don't turn around, then they will just ignore that moment and like spawn you, spawn her in the next interesting location closer to you. And things like that and it's really interesting like the tricks they do to make your companions seem more real and to ensure that like you see those moments they don't just have the character walking around with you all the time or at least if they do you know they still have them like head towards interesting points or whatever and abort like their animations if you stop looking at them while they would do the animations. Or, or you know, like, like before they can properly start the animations. A man named Nissan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. 
I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow and you'll find the flame. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Still only one skill point. But we have lots of treasure boxes. We're refilled now from the blast traps that actually were triggered. So that's a good point to stop, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game and I'm kind of trying to get back into the habit of streaming. So keep your fingers crossed that I will actually occasionally do some streams. Um, like right now, it's uh, about 5 p.m. for me. Um, like at this time on a weekend, I might stream then. I'm kind of aiming more of doing it in the morning. So that means, um, you know, about, I don't know, like 10 hours ago or something like that would be more of a time that I would... Um, probably stream in the future. I don't know how that works time zone wise for other people. Um, right now I was just like, I wanted to do a stream because I haven't tried this setup yet and I uh, activated the alerts in the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Um, great that you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, um, let's hope I, I manage to stream some more and let's hope I can get my lazy ass out of beds in the morning to, to do it before I start work. Um, and then maybe get a lit, a bit of uh, uh, of a regular thing going here. Um, I mean, I've I've streamed sort of semi regularly before, so it worked pretty well. I'm very surprised how few times I do the ums or uh. I've I've still caught myself doing it a couple of times, but actually I'm. I've gotten more to to uh, taking breaks or repeating words as you just heard. Um, so uh, <laughs> another am just to prove that I'm better at it now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm I'm just looking to um, get back into the habit of that. Hopefully, I will manage that. And uh, this game definitely looks like it will keep me going. Like I'll definitely keep playing it. I hope I'll keep streaming it as well. Uh, otherwise, um, I'm looking forward to playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And hopefully I'll get through this on stream before that hits the shops. Um, which will be by October. So I guess... So, like, two, three months should still be there before that. So let's hope that works out. Well, I guess, uh, since I often manage to catch your streams, Alice, I, I'm, I'm glad you were able to catch my stream as well. I hope I can make it a little interesting. It's always... Sometimes you just kind of get lost in the game and uh, play... Or, or, you know, loot and are so focused on I need these three more uh, resources to finally unlock something or whatever. So uh, I hope I can uh, get some more into streaming, uh, into talking during the stream and not taking as many long breaks. So hopefully that works. And also, uh, I like... Uh, 
yeah, I really like this game and its world and just how it looks and, and imagining and, and trying to figure out how different parts work, you know. I mean, you know, like one of the tricks, for example, is, you know, like it, the real world is subject to physics. In the computer, you just put someone in a certain location and it stays there. Like any physics you do, you actually have to add into the game, like have to actually write code that makes it work. So like these uh, uh, banners billowing in the wind or whatever, or the the ones up there those are all like extra but like all the rest is stiff and so that's another one of those those tricks that they have is that you have uh, you just put physics where you need it and not elsewhere like you don't just run a general physics simulation on the entire game because you know you don't need the buildings to correctly have physics with the ground. In fact, it's probably the opposite because if you made a mistake, then suddenly a building will slowly sink into the ground, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa or something, which you wouldn't want. So that's why uh, it's actually better not to have that. So no unexpected things happen. And then you put things like banners and uh, the, your character's hair and things and just make those. Uh, run by the physics engine and they both save CPU cycles but also makes it less likely that weird okay, thing would happen you might do Come here if you oh, by the way I'm I hope it works now so that's why I'm keeping talking even if they're talking around me I so my setup right now is with a capture device so I'm I'm actually the stream comes out of my PC and the capture device software like has the feature of ducking, which means, like, while I'm talking, it will actually lower the game volume. So that if everything went right, I actually, like, you should have heard all my talking, even though I barely heard myself because this salesman in front of me has been talking all the time. Come, talk to me a moment. And as soon as I stop talking, the character should be, uh, should be louder again. And that was like the main reason why I went, didn't go with the, the excellent built-in streaming that the PlayStation You're everything has. I'm not. Strong, brave, active. Come, talk a spell. All right. What does he sell? What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels, emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. Oh, those are the... Yeah, you can, you can collect cups. And Okay, this is the salesman that will take them. Okay, I guess let's just finish this conversation because I somehow got sucked into this world again and then really call it a day. And uh, thank you if you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully uh, see someone another time uh, when I do another stream, which I hopefully will do. Give me a kick in the ass if, I, if, if you don't see me streaming <laughs> in, a, in a few days or something. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. 
But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. Yes. I have one set. Here, get your shaving vessels. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Rugged? Well traveled? Yes. I would like to talk. That's kind of a little sad in this, uh, uh, like, like, game immersion-wise, that he immediately starts the opening conversation, like most of the vendors do that, the moment you, you, you have just talked to them. There should be, like, a slight cooldown or something. I mean, you know, it's like a little detail. This game is amazing, and I haven't run into any bugs where I thought, like, oh my god, the game is broken, I can't finish it, or something like that. So, you know, like, other games are are mm, yes. problematic and this one is basically perfect do. but Come this here, is like will. something that takes me slightly out of it okay so let's get a nice vista for the end and uh, call it a day and uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you again bye bye